Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the genuine hope that we'll be able or I'll be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey today. With that said, today we're looking at my Weeble portfolio as an overall. So we're doing an overview. And as you can see right now, we're at $16,435.16 with a profit unrealized of $6,043.97 for a 58.14% uh, return. Now, before we get too deep and dive too deep into the video, if you just take a short moment to go ahead and smash that like button for me, hit the subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're gonna go through all the details of my portfolio today. And um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave that down in the comments. Um, another way you can support the channel is by hitting the notification bell so that anytime that I release a video, you'll be able to see that. But with that said, as you can see, um, we have had a little bit of a bumpy ride over the last month. Um, and this is mainly due to the fact that the EV sector um, has been kind of um, up and down. And the biggest component of this would be Tesla. So um, I actually have shares of Tesla, Workhorse Group, and Hylion in my uh, portfolio. And that has my uh, total portfolio down uh, almost $600 um, from the all-time high, which we uh, had reached, which was around $16,990 um, a month ago. As you can see here, we have a cash balance of $37.17 with a total receivable, which means uh, this is uh, how much I'm gonna get in dividends uh, very soon. So $5.88 coming from dividends very soon. But as you can see, our first um, stock is ADT, and this is a free share that we received. Um, we got it at an average price of $7.74. We've gained 77 cents in this uh, position. So that's almost a 10% return. Um, we also have highly on holdings, which I just previously mentioned. Uh, we received, uh, we bought this stock at $16 and 23 cents. And since then it's gone down $5 and 10 cents for a 31% loss. Um, now this would be a great opportunity for us to go ahead and buy more shares, but we're kind of waiting on that. Um, as I've said in previous videos, my uh, priority right now is to invest in my IRA. And once I fully invested in my IRA, I will go ahead and start investing in my brokerage. In the meantime, I'm allowing the dividends that I receive from this portfolio to build up so that I can buy um, a stock that I desire. Um, next up, we have Alamos Gold, which we received at a uh, price of $8.13. This was another free share. We are down two cents in this uh, position with uh, a loss that's really not needed to be talked about. And then we have SWN, which is Swetson Energy. As you can see, uh, we received this at $3.30, uh, which um, is, a we've gained $1.58 since we've had the company, which is 47% uh, profit since we received this company, which was a free stock. So. Um, sometimes the free stocks work out very well for you. Um, so I wouldn't uh, always, I made a rookie mistake when I first started getting uh, free stocks from my referrals of going ahead and um, selling them off as soon as I got them. But sometimes it's good to let it ride out. Um, even if you don't have time to research the company, you can see some uh, profit either immediately or in the long term. So uh, next up, we have Airbnb. We were able to get one share of that. Unfortunately, we thought we were going to be able to get three to four shares, but uh, they changed the price uh, when the IPO was set. So um, we got in at an average price of $149.06 the day of, and we have gained $39.43 <clears throat> for a 26.5% return. We have Rocket Companies up next with two uh, shares of that. Now, I absolutely um, love this company, and I think they have great potential to be great in the long run. Um, we bought those two shares at an average cost of $42.26. So the average price for each share was $21.13, and we've gained $3.16 for a 7.5% return. 
We also have Coca-Cola up next, one share in this portfolio. And we've lost 40 cents because we bought at a price of $53.04. And Coca-Cola is down right now. But this is not something that we would even dare to worry about. Coca-Cola is one of the most solid stocks you can buy and uh, add to your portfolio. Next up, we have Abvi, which is a company I really, really like and truly believe in. We were able to get in at an average price of $86.26. Although we were only able to get one share, we've gained $22.29 for a almost 26% return. Next up, we have Main Street Capital. We have three shares of Main Street Capital at an average price of $91.09. So each share costs us $30.36. And we've gained $28.58 in our three shares, which is about a 31.5% return. Workhorse Group is up next. And we have four shares of Workhorse Group. Um, at a total cost of $86.62, we've gained or we've lost $29.78 since buying those four shares. Um, so we've lost 34% of our position, but we're really not worried about this. Um, this was a speculative stock from the beginning. And when you buy speculative stocks, you are speculating. So um, be prepared to lose money before you make money. And that's what I feel like is going on right now. Um, I do believe that Workhorse Group and Hylion um, will do great things in the near future, but that future is not right now. So um, I'm just going to give them time to develop. Uh, Genius Brands is up next. We have six shares of Genius Brands. Um, it's a company I've talked about before that uh, actually has a cartoon that hosts uh, Warren Buffett in it. And um, I just think they're doing great things. So I bought six shares. We got those six shares at a total cost of $8.16. Our average price is $1.36, and we've gained $3.06, which is a 37.5% return on that position. Next up, we have CVS Health. We have one share in this portfolio. Um, we got it at an average price of $66. We are up $8.31 for a 12.5% return. And then we have TELUS uh, Communications. We have six shares right now, um, and we got the, that at a total cost of $111.14 with an average price of $18.52. We've gained $10.24 for a 9% uh, return, but Shaw Communications, which we have five shares of, which and we bought at $89.37 with a $17.87 average, we've gained $42.18 for a 47 and a half percent return. Now, uh, if you were to ask me which of these two companies would I buy right now, I would uh, buy TELUS because I think there's more opportunity for it to grow. And I still think Shaw Communications is gonna grow, but um, to me, it's better to get in at a lower price. Um, I kind of have the Warren Buffett mentality of, you know, when the market's down, that's the best time to buy because you're able to buy uh, quality stocks at a discount um, instead of buying them while they're at their high. Um, but next up, we have uh, Walgreens Boot Alliance, which is a company I absolutely love, been raving about for a long time. Um, I just wish I was able to get a couple more shares. Um, 25 would have been really awesome, but um, we were able to get 10 shares at an average uh, cost of thirty $38.71 for a total cost of $387.13. And since that time, we've gained $162.37, which is a almost 42% return in that position. Next up is Simon Property Group. I've talked about this company every single time that I've gone through my Weeble portfolio in an overview. And uh, I have five shares in this portfolio and another five shares in my Fidelity portfolio. Um, pretty much at the same price. Um, I got $68.06 is the average price for the five shares I have, bringing the total to $340.32. And in the time that we've had this stock, mind you, it's not at its peak. We've gained $236.18, um, which is a 69% return. Now, why did I buy Simon Property Group in the first place? Well, I saw that they are a REIT that deals with 
uh, malls and outlets and stuff like that. Uh, the next time you go to a mall or an outlet, look to see, um, look at the little signs that they have, the little bulletin boards and everything. Um, there's probably going to say something, you know, affiliated with Simon Property Group because they are so intermingled in malls and outlets like that. And at the time that I bought them, it was $68 and 60 or $68 and six cents. And their, you know, average price was around $135 to $150 a share. And I knew that they would bounce back. Um, the only reason that they were down is because of the pandemic. So this is kind of how you have to think of, or how you have to think when you're looking at stocks and analyzing which stock should I add to my portfolio. You want to make sure that you're weighing all the options. Um, think outside of the box. Um, a lot of times, you know, I'll be driving around with my girlfriend or I'll be driving around and uh, I'll see stocks or I'll, I won't see stocks. I'll see companies that are stocks and I'll look those companies up and see um, how they're doing as a as a business and everything. And that kind of helps me um, get into, you know, favorable stocks that pretty much perform well. One of the reasons that I got into uh, Caterpillar, and I know I'm getting off base, but I think this is a good story. One of the reasons that I invested in Caterpillar, uh, the two shares that I have, is because uh, during the pandemic, everything was closed down. But the construction workers where my girlfriend was living at the time, they were still working. They were still building homes right in her area. And I figured that was a great opportunity to go ahead and get in on a stock. So thinking outside of the box can help you implement uh, good uh, investing strategies. Next up, we have Apple. We have 10 shares of that at an average cost of, excuse me, I lost my, $121.38. So we um, basically paid a total of $1,213.88. Um, and we have an unrealized profit of $16.22, which is a 1% return right now. Now with Apple, um, I still think they're highly undervalued. I think they're undervalued a hundred dollars because that was the original price that I uh, bought them at. Um, they were $220 a share. Um, and then they split. So I fully expect that they will get back up to that $220 a share. And I fully plan on adding more to the position to make sure that I get the most uh, return for that. But they're also just a solid company with, you know, a decent dividend considering, you know, that they're a Fortune 500 company. Uh, next up, we have Bank of America, and this is a preferred share, preferred class A share. Um, we bought at a total cost of $25.99, and we're down exactly $1 with uh, 3% or almost 4% lost on that position. Next up, we have Keurig Dr. Pepper. We have one share of that, which we bought at $28.41. Bought it on a whim, found out that it was actually a decent company with a nice little dividend that they provide. Since that time, we bought or since that time, we've gained six dollars and seventy four cents, which is a 24 percent return. Practically um, next up is Whirlpool, which we bought at one hundred and thirty seven dollars and four cents. And we've gained eighty seven dollars and forty seven cents since buying, which is almost a 64% return. Allstate, we bought at $103.34. We've gained $12.69 for a 12% return. Next up, we have WW Granger, which we bought at $328.85, and we've gained $77.50 for a 23.5% return. Faster now, we have one share that we bought at $42.82. And we've gained $8.08 for a 19% return, practically. Uh, Mercury General, we bought at $42.43. And we've gained $19. And sorry, I just lost my spot. Okay, $19.14 for a 45% return. And then we have Duke Energy which we bought at uh, $88.73, and now we've gained $7.55 for an 8.5% return. 
We also have Eaton Corporation, which uh, we bought at $88.29, and we've gained $51.71, uh, which is a 58.5% return. John Deere, we have one share at an average price of $157.79. And I'll be honest, guys, I, I couldn't have expected it to gain $215.19 in the time that we've had it, but it has, so that's $136.00 or 136% return. Um, now, I fully believe in John Deere, and I fully wanted to get in on more shares of John Deere, but as you can see, it was at almost $160 a share. So, you know, for the average person, that's a, a steep price. But um, I never expected it to 1x, um, at least not so quickly. Um, I like John Deere because of the consistency. Um, and because of the dividend payouts that they um, send out. So the fact that it's done so phenomenal is just, you know, a cherry on type or uh, icing on the cake. Next up, we have Chevron, which we bought at an average price of $96.20. We have one share of that, and we've gained $9.69 for a 10% return. Uh, then we have BP, which we've gained... Uh, $30.36 from the five shares that we own, um, which is a 33% return. We also have BMO, which has gained $34.50 from its total cost, which was $54.50. So we've gained 63% on this position, which is phenomenal. We just wish that we could have uh, bought a couple more. Had we known, we would have. But um, we will, you know, in the near future, go ahead and buy more of each of these positions. Um, if it's going to stay in my portfolio, know that my plan is to eventually add more to the position. And if I can get in at a lower cost, that would be awesome. If I can't, that's just part of life and in investing. Um, BCE is up next. We've gained $43 and one cent. Or <laughs> I wish you gained, but we bought at $43 and one cent. And we've gained $2.59 for a 6% return. Assurant is uh, up next with one share. We have the, uh, we bought at $107.57, and we've gained $33.94, which is a 31% return. Tesla, which is actually down $100 right now, uh, we've Still, you know, our average price for Tesla was $222.76. So we've gained $2,611.43 for a 195% return. We have Helmrich up next, which was the company that when I bought it, I thought it was going to immediately gain money, but it immediately tanked even more. Um, so the fact that it's recovered and actually gained money is pretty awesome. Um, we bought an average cost of $20.95. And I, to be completely honest, I did uh, about 10 minutes of research on Helmrich. Um, I liked what I saw just from a quick glance. And I wanted to not have any buying power in my portfolio. So that's why I bought Helmrich in the per first place. So the fact that we've gained $7.48 um, is pretty awesome. We're up 35% in that position. We also have two shares of Aflac, which was a total cost of $73.88 at an average cost of $36.94. And uh, we've gained $29.12, which is a 39.5% return. We also have One Oak or OKE, which is a company that I bought in tandem with uh, Simon Property Group. I've said the same thing about both of them. Both give great dividends. Both are uh, highly undervalued at this current moment in time. And both have had uh, pretty uh, awesome returns in the last six months since I bought them. So um, as you can see, we're up $95.40, which is a 59% return on that position. We also have uh, Berkshire Hathaway, a Class B share, which we bought at $185.88, and we are up $72.51 on that position, which is a 39% return. 
Hershey, one share here, we have uh, we bought in at one hundred thirty five dollars and thirty seven cents. We've gained twenty three dollars and thirty nine cents. So we've gained a 17 percent return. Clorox uh, is down right now. We bought at two hundred and three dollars and eighty one cents down almost eleven dollars with a five percent loss. Um, so another solid company that just happens to be down right now. I would totally um, buy in if you have the opportunity to do so. Clorox is a great company with consistent dividends. Um, they're not too volatile. So um, you'll see more consistent growth than you will see loss. Um, and then we have Goldman Sachs, which I bought at $204.26. We've gained $123, which is a 60% return. We also have Amgen which we bought at $225.57. We've gained $23.73 for a 10.5% return. We also have Lamb Research, which we bought at $271.33. It's gained $370.77 for a 136% return as well. We have Kimberly Clark, which we bought at $141.05. It's down $4 now. Um, in the previous video, I believe it was down $8. So it's gained some money back, but uh, still down almost 3%, um, but a great, great company to get involved with. Um, DraftKings Incorporated, a company I fully believe in that will get to $100 uh, share price. Um, we bought at an average cost of $33.14, and we've gained $59.86 even with it being down from what it was. Um, so that's a 90% return. Thinking about getting in um, on some more positions uh, before it gets to that $100 share price. We also have Diageo, um, which we uh, bought at $140.69, but we've gained $26.75 for a 19% return. We have Tanger Factory Outlets, which... If you know the story about this, it's pretty crazy. Um, it's gained, or it's, uh, we bought at $6.12, but we were skeptical about the company because of the dividend. Um, it was like a dollar or something at the time um, at that share price. And so we've gained $9.63 for 157% return. Uh, Meredith. We bought at $13.39 and we gained $16.70 for 124% return, almost 25% return. Um, Halliburton, we bought at uh, $21.16 and we've gained $22.68 for 107% return. JetBlue Airways, two free shares that we received. Um, we bought at, or we didn't buy, so... Um, we received them at $10.13 uh, average price, and we've gained $20.58, so 101% return on that. And then CBS, uh, Viacom CBS, which has been through the ringer in the last week, um, we received these uh, shares free. So um, we got in at an average cost of $12.77, and it's gained $63.56. So a uh, 248% return here, but it was higher. It was up to, I think the uh, the market value was up to $95 or something like that. Um, something crazy. But uh, then we have Snap, which was also up. I think Snap was up, I want to say $80 a share. But right now it's at $54.32. So we've gained two hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy five cents, uh, which is you know five hundred and forty eight or five hundred and forty nine percent return. We have Starbucks, which we bought at sixty five dollars and seventy cents. Should have bought more of that, um, because it's up forty three dollars and eighty nine cents for a sixty seven percent return. Southwest. It's a company I've raved about. It's my favorite uh, airline company and airline stock. Um, we've got it at an average price of $41.11. And it's gained 301 or almost $302 for a 48.96% return. 
We also have WWE. This was just for fun. Um, we bought at $44 and 12 cents. Um, and we've gained $11 and 45 cents. Now I had seen, it's not just for fun, but it was kind of like a nostalgic buy. Um, I had seen this company at $80 this year when they decided to include the women's division and expand on it a little more. Um, so I'm hoping that it eventually gets back up to that $80, uh, $80 a share price. Um, but if it doesn't, it won't be the end of the world. We also have Bank of Nova Scotia, which was one of my best buys. We have 20 shares at an average price of $45.56. Uh, um, we've gained $347.76 for a 38% return. Um, we also have Ford Motors, which uh, we have 16 shares. I believe we bought 12 shares ourselves, and then we have four shares that we just received from referrals. We bought at an average price of $7.98, and we've gained $66.17 for a 51% return. Vanguard Real Estate ETF is a company that is finally recovering after having it for over a year. Um, this company, I bought it at $95.15, and it tanked all the way down to like $79 um once the pandemic hit and so we're still down a dollar 65 um or almost two percent but that's much better than it was um i think it was down almost 35 percent or something like that we have ge which we bought the 100 shares at an average price of nine dollars and ninety cents um and then we received one free share um we've gained 347 dollars and 85 cents or a 35% return after being down um, like 50% in that uh, position. Now, um, when you look at what's happened over the last couple of weeks in my net assets, you can see that we were this close to hitting $17,000, which would have been our all-time high, but this is our all-time high of $16,900.19 on March 15th. And we have not really touched that since then, um, but I'm sure it'll recover. We're not really worried about it, even though, you know, it says right now that we're down or we've been down $673.66 in a day. And when we go to account details, you can see that we still have uh, steady dividends coming in. I mean, in the first two days, you know, March 31st and April 1st, we have, I believe, eight or seven dividends um, accounted for here. And then in account performance, you can see here, this is what my profit and loss for each uh, stock is. Um, and my biggest loss is in Tesla at $739.86 uh, in the last month. A loss of $89 from Snap, a loss of $41 from Apple. Um, but this is just for for the month. When you look at year to date, I think almost everything is in the green. These are the only stocks, Apple, Workhorse Group, and Tesla are the major stocks in the red. Um, actually, let me show you the last year. That's probably even better. Yeah, so Workhorse Group and Clorox would be the only companies with major losses in the last year. And so when we look at uh, stock uh, stock profit and loss, you can see the percentages here. Tesla's at the top with the most um, gained, but um, only big losses are in Workhorse Group and ISBC, which I don't even think we have anymore in the uh, in the portfolio. But it keeps track of all the companies that I've had in this um, portfolio. And even with all my portfolio history, only about 10 stocks have ever stayed in the red overall. So that's actually pretty phenomenal. Um, and like I said, we're still up 58% with, you know, $600 loss from where we were or 
you know, over $500 loss. So when we get back to that um, $16,900 mark, it'll be absolutely phenomenal. If you watched the whole video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and uh, leave a comment to let me know if you thought this was detailed enough, if it was helpful, um, if you gained some insight. Let me know which positions you are in that I'm also in or which positions you think I should add to the portfolio. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and God bless.